Hi everyone, Merry May, happy end of April. We are coming into an exciting time of really the blossoming of all the seeds we planted back in March. This time of the year is known as Beltane by some Celtic neo-pagan traditions. It is a celebration of fertility, a harvest, and it's a fire festival. So we're going to do some uh, a small working today that requires a candle. And or if you wanted to get real fancy, you could put some Epsom salts rubbing alcohol in a fireproof uh, vessel, like a pot, something like that, iron cauldron, and light that on fire and use that also. We're really going to focus on fire as our element for this time of the year, though absolutely if you have the time to or the uh, you know ability to go outside, pick some flowers, decorate with some flowers, um, flower crowns are well known for this time, go ahead and do it. And really it's a time to focus on those seeds that we planted back at spring equinox that have now flowered and blossomed and are moving into their fruiting stage because our harvest festivals are going to come up in April, April, August and September where we're really going to harvest those seeds that we've planted that have become plants and then into fruit. So you can really think about the blossoming of the seeds that we planted back at that spring equinox time and really see what's going on. So for me in a very tangible way we've got avocados and avocado flowers on the tree in the back, some big beautiful red roses, um, I've discovered that we have wild onions in part of our yard. So really seeing the nature and the blossoming and the growth of, you know, what there is. This is, of course, a great time of the year to uh, have a great time. Uh, get together with your partners and or with yourself and express some of that sexual energy. You know, uh, tonight is also known as Well Purchase Noct, which is the night of madness in Germanic traditions. So really a big party to let everything all out before you have to cleanse yourself and then move into the harvest season and those sorts of things. So it's a good time to have a good time. Uh, if you are interested and you know are able, you want to grab a candle. This can be white, of course, if you don't have colors. I'm using orange to represent fire for sure. Uh, if you have another candle, so I wouldn't use the witch's web candle for this, but let's say you have another candle that you've been burning just for fun, and it's like a larger pillar sort of candle. You can always put a pin, like a push pin sewing needle, something like that, a few, an inch or two down in that larger candle and use that top section from the pin to the top as your magical section for this working we're going to do. And then once it burns down to the pin, you pull the pin out and you let that dry and that has done. Your candle is now fresh and new again and that part that you were using for what we're doing today has burned down and then you're good to go. So if you need to reuse a, you know, a candle because you don't have access or the ability to go buy some, then that's the way you could do it too. Like I said, white is always great. Any other fire color is also fantastic if you have it. So if you've got, you know, yellow, red, orange, whatever, go for that. You want to uh, sanctify your candle as we do so we always know cheap and easy spit move beyond that secret oil I'll be putting orange oil on my orange candle because I like to stick with the theme and it's you know citrusy and warm and springy to me um, you can also of course roll it in any warming herbs that you have if I was doing something like this in winter I would probably put cinnamon allspice or chili on it um, to you know warm up the the, the energy of, of what I'm doing so this one's going to be pretty simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to set our space, as I always love to say, and apparently I'm uncomfortable in my chair today, as I always love to say, set your space, right? So we want to cleanse, cast, call, do whatever you feel is appropriate for you. I truthfully would probably just do a little cleansing for this and then make sure I was in a space where I could have a few moments alone. This is a real quick one. It only takes a few moments and really it's mostly about visualization and uh, really feeling the essence of the fire as we call it into ourselves. Uh, again, actually, in addition, I'm using uh, or an orange candle because that connects with the second chakra, if you know anything about that energy system. And that is an orange color chakra. It's also the foundation, the really seat of creativity, life, 
birth, all of those things that exist in us, it's sexuality, it's really all where all that sits. So connecting those colors, right? Calling in that flame, thinking about that orange second chakra that sh sits at your navel, having that orange candle, that all is very uh, soothing and uh, easy for my brain to put together. <laughs> Right? At the end of the day, I'm slow and convenience is what I want. And so having an orange candle that reminds me of all these other systems is, is great. Okay, so we're going to set our space. We're going to start with our three cleansing breaths. So when you're ready, you're going to close your eyes. We're just going to breathe in. pick up my candle as this candle flame burns it ignites the spark of fire within me the fire to create the fire of life the fire of warmth so we're gonna light our candle And while that candle's burning, I choose to look at the flame. You may choose to close your eyes and visualize whatever works for you. So I light my candle, place it in front of me, stare at the flame. And as I'm looking at the flame, and as I'm breathing in, I'm visualizing pulling in that flame into my body. Letting that flame come in and warm me. Let the energy move. And I like to visualize in my womb, lower abdomen space, a cauldron. A cauldron sitting on a dark fire that's gone out. And as I breathe in fire, I breathe in the flame under that cauldron. I watch that flame grow, that fire burn as it warms the bottom of my cauldron of creation. As it spins that orange energy of life. Let it warm your soul, warm your blood. As we call in that Prometheus spark, the light of creation, of spring, of new life. Now, if you want, you can take this visualization and this fire energy to ignite your whole body. So you see your whole self ignited in flame, a creature of fire. Burning and flicking with that warm, 
intense orange flame that gives you power, that lets you rest and hold in that space. As your second chakra spins orange or your cauldron boils, bubbling, as new ideas, new life, new creation comes to the surface for you to call upon, for you to use, for you to dip into. And this cauldron, this bubbling brew of life and energy and fire is always there, always with us. And we're gonna use this candle until it's gone as many times as we want to come back to this energy, to come back to this space, to ignite our creation, to ignite our life, to connect with the fire of today's celebrations. Now, if you have the ability and you have the access, of course, building yourself a small fire is a wonderful way to celebrate if you can be outside and do that. If you can't, you know, literally cooking your own food is using fire energy to make and create and to feed and nurture yourself. Lighting the candles in the house, as many as you can, again, being safe. If you can, you know, jump a fire, really just embrace that fiery energy, that fiery life, that fiery spark that exists for us. Now, some people have different theories about candles. You can pinch it out or you can blow it out. I blow it out because I feel as though that it, releasing that energy back to the world is completely fine with me. And if I light that candle again, that spark is there and perfect and ready. So I have no issue with that. Some people pinch to keep the energy set in the candle and don't release it into the world until it's done and it burns itself out. You can also do that. But this candle is there for us to use over and over and over again. And if you can, and you sit with it and you visualize, right, that flame, that spark coming into your body and holding you to reignite your creative energy, to reignite and spark the passion in our blood, to move us through these hot, fiery months that are coming. So release your candle how you would like. Close your space however you feel is best and come back to it and use it. If you can even give it two minutes every day or three minutes as often as possible to light that candle and pull in that fire energy. And if you have a teeny little candle, that's great. And, you know, use it twice and it's good to go. And if you have a larger candle like I do, use it as many times as you want and need and let it burn through you and move through you. And as long as that candle is burning, you know, that energy is in the home, in the space that it's burning. And yes, the visualization is great. So give as much energy to that as you can to really work in that orange energy, to really brew up the fire around your life, brew in your cauldron, whatever you need to, to make that space. And above all else, have a great fucking time. It's spring and it's belting and it's well purchased on. Party hardy, have your orgasms, get drunk. Have a good time. Be safe, be healthy, but of course, and be consensual. But have a fantastic time. Go party, revel in nature and in the spring and in the flowers and in the fire of this time and really take a moment to try to celebrate and enjoy yourself because things are hard right now and we all need a little celebration.